Alright, what is up you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Total War Bro. We are playing some Terrax today. Uh, so let's go. I have right here, uh, this sort of hybrid replicator matrix here that allows us to uh, spawn some hybrid. And for the other modifiers, we have Stronghold, so a base is constantly being built up here. And we also have Void, which makes our income go down to like, essentially nothing. I think it's like 5 minerals per second. We also have a Rescue Strike to uh, protect us. And I'm gonna say hello to this guy. Hello. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> there we go. I'll put down my cannons over here, just like that. And I actually don't know what I'm gonna do here. Uh, I'm probably gonna slap down one Sentinel. And we're gonna have to go to tier 2, because most of my cool stuff is uh, locked behind tier 2, so let's just go there. Mm, I might want to get a gas early though, because um, of just lacking resources here. Uh, Alright, so now that I've introduced the Brawl, um, I've actually cracked open a nice, delicious pear. Um, and I kind of want to eat it right now, so I'm probably just going to mute my mic here, and we're just going to play a little bit, and I'll unmute once, I, once, I, once I'm done with it, I guess, because I'm just like, I, I've, I've become really addicted to fruits lately, because um, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of sweets, but I really, really, really enjoy fruits. Um, I don't know, like, there's just the right amount of sugar. Like, sometimes I find, like, cookies, and, like, cookies sometimes get really, like, way too sweet, and I'm just like, oh, I can't take that. Uh, but anyways, let's go. Sell me. Sounds like a plan. I return to serve. What's up? Alright, so we are back. Um, 
As you can see here, this Reaper box is very effective. Um, we're just sending it all the way. Um, anyways, I was reading the Rescue Strike and it says, it must be targeted near an allied structure. Does that mean I can drop it, like, right here? Because there's a, there's a supply depot and it's an allied structure, right? Um, anyways, I'm getting pushed in really hard by the Phoenix Legionaries here, and so I'm probably going to want to get um, a Pure Black Colossi, which is why I've leveled up to Tier 3. Uh, might be a mistake, but we're also going to go for a 10 minute push on a bunch of hybrids, so we'll see. There's a lot of small units here, and so I think it won't be too bad to go Colossi, because Karax is the best Colossi in the game. Uh, maybe, like, only I think only Warbringer is better than it, because Warbringer has more health, but you can only build one Warbringer, so technically, um, Purified Colossi are the best. Uh, so let's just put this down up here. We also have a very defensive team comp here with uh, the Haka Worms and my, uh, my, my whole, you know, my whole set of defensive structures. Um, so the enemy here, it has built a Phoenix. God. Uh, I'm gonna put down a Colossi right over here. There we go. And I actually have a beam already. 321 cooldown. That is like um, five minutes, right? It's got five minute cooldown here. I should probably save the beam for our 10 minute timing push because that's gonna happen in like a little bit of time. And I don't think we're gonna, although he's probably gonna nuke us when we do that. I don't know. It's fine. I'm gonna get all the upgrades here. Oh my god, it's actually so expensive to fully deck out your Colossi here. I didn't realize how expensive Karax was uh, to play. Um, and here we go. Oh my god, all those Reapers in the air here. Oh, wait, the Haka! This is, he didn't micro as the Haka! You could've eaten that Aegis Guard! Oh my god, you could've eaten that Aegis Guard. This is what happens when you don't micro the Haka, guys. Um, I'm guilty of it, don't worry. Uh, it happens to everyone, but you know. Um, let's see, we've got the laser beam here. Um, this is gonna set the fire. The fire beam is gonna set the ground on fire here. That's gonna be very effective against Phoenix here. Oh my god, look at that. Oh yeah. And this is probably like the best siege unit in the game because it sets the ground on fire, so the buildings also take a dot as well. And I think 42 damage per second, that's no joke here. But uh, oh my god, there are so many legionaries here. The legionaries are just way too tanky though. Um, that also means I probably don't have enough of these guys. That's probably what it means. Um, you know, I mean, like Taldarn's pretty strong here. Hunt and Horner with just a pure ground devastation comp. This is what Mass Reapers looks like. Oh my god. He's just going for a Zerg comp here. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reap. We're gonna reap. Uh, let's see, can I put down another one of these bad boys here? There we go. Let's get another one of these guys down here. All right. Um, man, Reaper's actually so strong. Just, just throw grenades at the building. They're like the best thing in Stronghold. Uh, <laughs> rapid recharging. I probably should energize my stuff as well. Shield fortification bear. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, there we go. Phoenix goes down right here. Uh, yeah, kill the Colossi. Kill the Robotics Bay. Kill the Robo Bay. Uh, Robo Robotics Facility. Oh, that guy's AFK. No wonder. He didn't put anything down for a while. I scanned him too, and he like he didn't have anything out. And I'm like, wait, what the heck? He put down his Phoenix. Oh, he left. Okay, nice. Um, that means we're only against this green, uh, this blue Phoenix and the Manx here. So we got that going for us. Uh, Manx is pretty bad with AoE, but he's got, oh man, he's got, he's got Sky Furies though. Sky Furies will really mess me up. Uh, if he chooses to build them, that is. Um, oh my god, the Reapers are throwing their grenades on them, on that little building here. Oh my god. Everything getting bombed. Alright, um, let's see, should I get another simulator here? Um, uh, probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna get some damage upgrades here. Uh, this one I, need, I just need raw damage against um, Phoenix right now. He has a Mojo, or Mojo is gonna be coming out soon. There we go. So I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some Mirages. Although Mirages are just gonna have. A, they're gonna have. I think I need more of them before they start having a good time against Scouts. Because Scouts do AOE, but they don't do bonus to light. They only do bonus to armor. Um, so that's actually not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna vaporize that Manx tank here, maybe. Oh my God, no! The Aegis Guard just. The Aegis Guard just chewed through everything that I had. Uh, and I think we're gonna start our timing push now. Right? Uh, 10 minutes soon. There we go. I don't know. I'm gonna go on the call on the other guy. Um, let's see. I'll put mine down for the next wave. So there we go. I'm putting him down. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them after because I wanna make sure I get um, the money. There we go. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Merging is complete. 
gonna put down some more of these things here. There we go. I don't have mine out yet, but that's okay. You're welcome. Um, they'll be there in a moment. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Research complete. Facing armor is completed. There we go. And I on pulse crystals. Crystals. Uh, yeah, vaporize those zealots here, please. Please. Oh no. Okay, so I have a beam here, so I'm gonna beam the next. I'm gonna beam the next wave here. Uh, we have. I have so many. We're gonna have so many hybrids coming out here. Um, all right. Let's see. Should I beam the next wave? No, I should, beam, I should beam the Phoenix wave. The Phoenix wave has the most units here, I think. Um, and that's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna kill it. That's gonna kill it. There we go. Uh, now the Phoenix wave is gonna be one that needs beaming here, I think. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna beam this wave down here. There we go. Drop the beam over here. Uh, I don't know why it's going that way. Why is it going that way? It's going that way to kill the cannons. Are you serious? Beam AI, are you serious? Alright, um, uh, let put down some more boss side here. That's a lot of hybrid. I'm surprised they haven't nuked yet. They might be waiting for my wave to come here and then they'll nuke. Uh, cause then all the hybrid will be grouped up and then they're gonna drop a nuke here. Like if they drop a nuke right now, like it's that'll push back on us quite hard, but it doesn't look like they know what a nuke is. So we're probably just gonna win the game right now if they don't know the uh, fact that the nuke exists. Uh, we're not gonna be uh, that friendly in remind them either, so there we go. Uh, I mean, the nuke exists to stop a push like this happening, uh, but apparently they don't know, so... Easy game. There we go. Bam. Uh, do you want to run out after this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. All right, and we are back, and we're playing once again with not so serious and a Deadpool here. Uh, let's go. Uh, so let's pop that that assimilator here. I'm gonna get this over here and stop this on two, and I'm gonna throw out one legionary over here. Not legionary, sentinel. And uh, yeah, same thing as usual. I don't know, I think, um, so, I'm probably going to be going ground carrots almost entirely this this week, because, well, Stronghold means that there's buildings, and Mirages can't shoot buildings. I wish they could, because uh, that would make them, like, so much better. Um, and carriers are so expensive, so probably going to be sticking with ground carrots here with the laser beam. Uh, so, let's go. Laser beam, purifier beam, another 10-minute win, let's go. 10-minute timing push? Guys, forget 8-minute forget push, guys. It's 10-minute push. And uh, don't tell the enemy that they have a rescue strike. That's the most important part. All right. Um, so let's see. Can I go for tier two? I'm gonna go for tier two right right away. It looks like there's a Vorazoon in the second position. Oh, that worm here helping us win out here. But my guy was healing up, so we should have been fine here. Do I need reconstruction? I have one zealot. I don't know if I want reconstruction. I'll get it if I have more zealots. I think. I don't know. Uh, and stupid hero. So let's see. You know what? You know what? Let's no. no, no. Because reconstruction basically gives me a second zealot. Armies will be as small as possible. Some stupid hero tier system. Oh man. Look at that. Oh my god. Deadpool is just coming in with those grenades here. Just tossing grenades at him. Dropping bombs. Um, let's just put that over here. Put that over there. There we go. There we go. Alright. I totally forgot to say it. Because last game I did do it. But I was eating my pear. Uh, if you guys enjoy direct side content, you guys are new to my channel, uh, be sure to watch the video to the end. I mean, I guess you already made it halfway. Uh, and yeah. Alright, let's go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Drop a sub. Drop a sub. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that down over here. And do I have charge on myself? Or did they die already? Oh, there's a Dark Templar here. There's a DT right here. Oh, oh man. There's a DT right here. Uh, oh, I dropped the scan. Nice meme. Um, that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna put out an observer here so that my team at least has access to vision. Always. Uh, I'm gonna pop this over here like that. That should be able to shield my cannon on the outskirts over there. There we go. And... Oh god, I got two zealots here. We're probably... Pushing into a Haunted Horner, oh god, that means I don't want to go air. Is Haunted Horner just going to dominate me in the air? I, I don't think I have any any chance to get down from that water tower. Uh, this is, there's a reference here that I'm not getting. Um, 
There's a reference here that I'm not getting. Um, there. Intaro Adoom. Let's go. Let's put down, let's put down Annihilator here. We're gonna need that Annihilator, uh, for sure. Uh, let's get another power level upgrade over here. There we go. Oh my god. Let's see. My observer here just still faithfully observing. Anyone see Gilbert Grape? Um, I am. I'm not too sure what that is. So for everyone who has, uh, please let me know in the comment section uh, what Gilbert Grape is. Uh, oh my god, the Reaper is just hard pushing here. And I just realized, I forgot to put the stats up for last game. Uh, oops. Oh, oops. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put the stats up for this game though. I, I was just I was just so so into it. I got so into um, just going for a second round here. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's an Asteria Wraith here. Don't I just- I think I just straight lose against, um, Con Corner Air, don't I? Well, I don't know, I guess we'll try this out. I'm pretty sure- Successful. Pretty sure I lose against Con Corner Air, but you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out first. Um, and then at least we'll say we've tried it, and then we knocked it, you know? Cause right now we're just knocking it before we're trying it. So, uh, here we go. Is there still an Observer here somewhere? No, there isn't. Okay. Man, this is- Boris would just go for- DTs that tear down the structures here. Um, kind of want the gas more than I want the mirage, though. Um, oh my god, this is like peak greed. Like, I mean, technically, I probably shouldn't have gotten the mirage, but I should have gotten a mirage and then instead of going for the gas. Uh, but I'm just being super greedy here. Um, hope they'll pay off. Uh, let's see. There we go. Mirage with phasing armor here. This one Mirage is definitely going to lose to this one Asteria Raid, but I need like, I need like probably three Mirages, I think that might win, maybe? I don't even know. The Asteria Raid is basically not even paying attention to it. Uh, I dealt some damage to it, actually. So it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad, okay. I'll put that some more here. But as soon as the Damage Vikings start coming out, I think I'm screwed. Um, let's see. Uh... But, you know, if I don't do anything, I'll be even more screwed, so I just gotta do something here. Um, oh my god. Got some hell bad action here. Ooh, got the intense music going on. There we go. Uh, that is a lot of Abitha Queens, and those Queens are gonna be able to tank this really well. We need grenade cars. Not, not Reapers, we need grenade cars. Grenade cars are, aren't too bad against buildings either, so it's, uh, they're not too bad of a vibe here. Um, we need Hellions versus those Queens. Um, oh god. He's got more rates now. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need to get some structure, fortification barrier, optimize ordinance here. Uh, I'm gonna need to get some defenses on my shield battery here. There we go. Uh, rapid recharging, I'm gonna need that so my shield battery heals up faster. Uh, hopefully. Oh, I'll keep everything topped up here, but I don't even know if I can contest the steroids. Let's just keep let's just keep going in here. Um I just don't have enough mirages yet, I think. Because I mean my only answer is mirages. It's not like I have a ground unit that shoots up either, so like, that's the one thing I don't like about Karaks. It's like I don't I can't I don't have the flexibility of being able to build like a pure ground comp and have a ground unit that shoots up. Like, yes the annihilators shoot up, but they're so expensive and they might not even kill the thing that it's shooting at. Um and like my air units don't shoot down either, I guess. I don't know. Uh, like, I don't have an air unit that shoots down. Like, I wish I had that flexibility. You know, like, if I have, like, a Mirage, and then I have, like, like a Protoss, like, assault, like, ground assault fighter or something, like, you know, it, it makes sense that, that something like that exists, right? Um, and then, like, it can shoot down as well, right? But all I got are big capital ships that do that. Um, this encounter here is definitely doing work, but... Mirages just cannot keep up, and my observer is just getting stuck on on units existing, which, which kind of sucks. Um, man, I'm not dealing. With, I'm not dealing with this break at all. It's kind of frustrating. Um, mm, mm, I'm go. Let's put down some more rates here. I mean, not more rates. More, more mirages here. I mean, I guess we did it. We did it. We did a ground character scheme. Essentially, so we're gonna go for that air Karax here. Uh, probably, probably air Karax. Um, by the way, things are shaping up. But I'm going into Abathur as well, which is like completely, it's just gonna completely body me um, in the late game with the Bowers. Um, I am effectively cleaning up some of the Queens here, so it's not too bad, but 
Uh, I need to drop a scan here. I drop a scan here. Do I have enough mirages? Oh my god, he's got, a, he's got a mend going on here. I do not have enough mirages. Do I? Uh, my scan ran out too. Oh my god. Where's my observer? It's right here. It's right here. It's observing nothing. Oh my god. Man, I hate observer AI. Like, it should just move up closer, but it just stops at the first target that it sees. And it just stays there. It's like, yeah, man, I'm just gonna chill out here. I'm an observer. I'm kinda new to here. Uh, excuse me? Can you not... Can this thing not restore shields on my bunker anymore? That used to be a thing. It used to heal up the bunker. Did that, did that get changed? I remember characters being able to heal up the bunker shields. Bruh. Bruh. Shield battery's not supposed to discriminate. Everything's got shields, bro. Oh my god. Restore life, come on. Alright, well I'm pushing into Abathur as well. Um, yeah, the Queens are doing a great job here. You need to get some more Hellions. Like, just get rid of your Reapers. Um, toss the Reapers. Go pure Hellion. Let's see. Alright, my Mirages are winning. That's good. Um, although I'm just expecting. Oh my god, he's got some Protoss synergy here. He's got shield batteries. That's hardly fair, guys. That's hardly fair. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go Pure Mirages. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Karax air power exists in Pure Mirages. That's it. That's that's all the air power you are you're gonna get. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah, you have to go Pure Mirages. Let's see. So the Hellions here should be able to do a good enough job here to clean it up. Go. Done. Okay, there we go. And it is 10 minutes now, so we should probably get uh, 10 minutes. Let's go. I'm gonna put down my hybrid here. Uh, let's go decimate. How many hybrids can I get out here? I can get out a full 8 hybrid, I think. Um, let's see. How many of them are there? 8. Well, I can get out. Wait, hold on. Is that 8? 9. That's 9 hybrid. I can get out 9 hybrid here. There's a Deimos Viking out on the field now, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough here, because I do have quite a lot of Mirages now at this point. And wild missiles coming out. Okay. Okay, okay. We're doing not bad. We're doing not bad. I need tier three though. Oh shoot, because tier three I get the beam. And then we can beam and push. Oh crap. Will I make it on time? I don't think I'll make it on time. This tier three takes so long to research. Um uh, let's see. At least my barrages are establishing some sort of air dominance here and getting rid of the opponent's units here. Our hybrid are coming in here. I got an observer over here. We got grenade cars and a lot more hybrid coming in. Holy! Come on, baby. Blow them up. All right, we got that middle income now. I'm not gonna be able to get beam in time for this wave, I don't think. Got some strike fighters coming in here. Okay, a steer race coming in here. There. We got a lot of hybrid here. That is a significant amount of hybrid. Um, and they might decide to rescue strike here. They might. They might. Um, let's see, my Mirages here are just not doing much here, except for flying past, okay. Oh, okay, we back in it, nah. Alright, we just blew that up, okay, hopefully this comes in time. Uh, and then we can get some more, we can, we can, we can drop our, we can drop our beam here for all this hybrid here. Like, these hybrid are just crushing all the structures here. Oh my god, um, but they're gonna send out their own hybrid in retaliation here, because, uh, I don't know, but we got a rescue strike here, so that's fine. Uh, let's just put down a beam here and just keep going. We're gonna keep going here. Um, let's just keep going. We're gonna keep pushing. Force them, force their hand. If they don't rescue strike, then, uh, they're screwed. Uh, and if they do, then that's fine, because they use the rescue strike here. Uh, let's see, I need enhanced target. There we go. Let me, where's, where's, where's my Kadar monolith? There it is, Kadar monolith. Just push it down right over here. And holy, that was a very powerful push here, but... They might push us back with their own hybrid. Who knows? We're just gonna chill here. Uh, Assault Galleons is not the right answer to this number of Mirages. This Haunted Horner does not know what he's doing here, and... Like, Haunted Horner you should almost never lose against Karax. I'm quite sure about that. Um, all you need to do is get Deimos Vikings, and Karax is gonna cry. Like, Mirages don't have a lot of health. Um, and like, so Deimos Viking AoE is just gonna wipe them. That's, that's the one thing. Um, but you know what? I ain't gonna tell him that he needs more uh, He needs more Deimos Vikings. Because if I do, he's gonna win, like, outright. Like, uh, rates don't do as well because they are single target. And they switch targets a bunch of times because the Mirages are all proc their immunity. Uh, let's see. And, oh my god, look at all those grenade cars. 
Grenade cards are very good against buildings, don't ever underestimate them. Um, and they're also pretty good against stalkers, actually. So not too bad. Um, that, that being said, though, they're, they, they are a little bit weak. A little bit weak against stalkers because they heal and stuff, but um, at least they do bonus damage to stalkers. Now, I only have like two units that can actually shoot buildings, though. Because my entire wave is nothing but mirages, so I probably need to get some carriers here. Um, at some point in time. Soon TM. There we go. Alright, Michael Nielsen, if you're watching this, um, I just wanted to say that I have a tendency to underestimate K Air, Karak's Air. I think War Gear International could watching this as well. Like I, When I made the tier list, I was like, yeah, you know, Karak's Air might be a, a little bit tough here. Um, but I guess if you go full Mirages, it's okay. I'm surprised my opponents haven't countered me, though. That's the thing. Um, because, I don't know, Like every time I've, like, I face Karak's Air, I find it easy to deal with. But that's probably because I play commanders that are very powerful in the air. Like, I play, like, like Abathur. Rainer is pretty good against Karak's Air as well. Uh, Kerrigan, Mutas are pretty good. I don't know. So, uh, I don't know. I think, like, Hotter Horner shouldn't be losing this fight at all. I don't know why they are, but, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm winning, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, that's always good. Um, but, yeah, Hotter Horner should never lose this fight. Um, yes, I have a lot of Mirages, but they got that AoE. They got that, they got that damage here, but you know what, I just have numbers at this point, and, you know, you know what they say, you know, spam Void Rays, uh, and you win. You know, you have more Void Rays than they have Marines, uh, you win, right? Um, <laughs> oh my god, this entire wave is getting nullified here, holy crap, alright. Alright. Yeah, uh, but now it's on CD. Alright, well at least they got something to hit over here. Uh, oh my god. Uh, the splash damage is definitely hurting us here, as you can see there. Um, so the splash damage kind of hurt there. Uh, let's see, I want carriers in this row, right? Yeah, I want carriers in this row. Um, so I probably shouldn't put anything... Oh, no, I can put a, I can put a unit here, I think. Um, but I have one carry out here, but... Do they not realize they have rescue strikes? I feel like no one reads the tooltips or anything. They just, like, play it, and then like, they just go... Like, if you look carefully, you realize like you have a new ability here. Um, you know? Like, I've had a teammate who just didn't know that there was, a uh, there was Rescue Strike either, and I'm just like, guys, you know you can nuke, right? Um, <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Like, Hot Hunter should just sell off these rates that he's got, and just go pure Deimos. That's his only chance right now. Um, but I guess not. I guess he's not gonna take his only chance here. Um, I'm surprised Borisun hasn't gotten Corsairs either. Because Corsairs will do quite well, because they have a bit of splash damage as well. And Corsair's CC is also- oh, they lost the Nexus, that's it! They're screwed! Oh my god, that's it. Corsair's CC is also pretty good against all these Impalers, because the Disruption Web will stop them from auto-attacking. Like, I don't know, like, both of these guys should have gone air. I don't know why they aren't going air. Um, but, you know what? It's okay. Sometimes you get games like this. Sometimes they're on the opponent's team. Sometimes they're on your team. You know? Uh, and... yeah. <laughs> uh, also in a Han and Horner matchup, it's just... I think it's just whoever gets more, um... Uh, Deimos Vikings will win. I think that's essentially it. It's the essence of it. Although I think I remember getting countered by some guy who, uh, did something else. It was something funky that I didn't expect. I think it was, like, grenade cars? He went, like, mass grenade cars or something. Something weird. I don't quite remember what it was, because I've, I've sort of forgotten that game. Um... Is it Deimos Vikings? He went, he went something weird that I never expected. Um, I don't quite know. Okay, anyways. My one carrier here is just still chilling out here. There we go. We're still struggling. I'm gonna put some down, I'm gonna put down some more carriers here at this point. Um, because I have the opportunity to. There we go. Put down a carrier over here. Put that down over here. I'm gonna put down the observer over here. Because I can put our, probably place a carrier over here as well. There we go. We put a carrier over there. And... Um, they're never gonna get more base structures because their stronghold building, their nexus just died. So that's bad news for them. And we got a beam here. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop down some hybrid right now. And I'm gonna ping. Um, let's see. I'm gonna ping for a hybrid next wave. And then let us finish this. There we go. Okay, so I got four carriers now. Uh, alright, alright. Oh my god. Because the longer this game goes on, the less likely we are to win, I think. Because Hunt and Horner Air is going to catch up. Unless it doesn't, you know. Um, okay, screw it, guys. We're just going to beam right here. 
just gonna drop a big beam over here um, to set up this wave uh, for victory. And let's see. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, and that's it. That's it, boys. My hybrid didn't even get to set see the stage here. And there we go. Uh, let's look at the stats over here. Actually, I'm curious. 231 units killed. That's that's not too bad. I only did 62k. Okay, but not so serious here. Oh my god, with the Dahaka, like the just the late game Dahaka power was just so strong here. And let's have a look over here. Overview here. Um, Abathur left. If Abathur stayed, I think they probably could have pulled it back. I don't know because Abathur with uh, like Devourers are quite strong. Um, but that being said, like I guess his team was not doing its their, their best job. I don't know. Like see here, like I think I don't know just pure i don't know guys it's hard to call it because like it's already happened but you know i feel like if you realize that i was karax it's just like if you own the air against karax karax is actually just helpless um let's see 34k minerals okay that's not too bad i did perform mid lane okay well if you guys enjoyed this uh these two karax games be sure to leave a like and until next time i will see you guys later